people who are reaching out to me about an opportunity, um, my mom who wants something from me, even my wife wants something from me. I don't have agreements with these people that I will respond by email. So I want to share a simple distinction around email that's really shifted my experience of email in my life. You probably get loads of emails and you probably have loads of them waiting to be responded to either in your in inbox or in some kind of folder or something. Um, and what I realized one day is that out of all the emails that are waiting for replies, um, a very small percentage of them, do I actually have agreements with the people that I will reply? Most of the people sitting in my email or folders or whatever are people who either expect or desire a reply from me. And what I was doing though was I was taking all those emails and feeling like I had to reply to them. Where actually I don't have to reply to almost all of them to be in integrity, to be uh, in integrity with the commitments that I've made, with the agreements that I have with people. Only a very small percentage. And, and for me it was my clients, and my the people on my team, my video editor, my assistant, those are the only people where I have an explicit agreement that I will re re reply to their email. Um, everybody else, people that are inquiring about coaching, people who are interested in my stuff, people who I've been in a conversation with socially, um, people who are reaching out to me about an opportunity, um, my mom who wants something from me, even my wife wants something from me, I don't have agreements with these people that I will respond by email. There might be some agreement that they're implying, but there, if there isn't one, there isn't one. And so what I decided was that like, I'm going to just separate all my emails into two folders. I did this for a while and it was people who I have an agreement with and I'm committed to replying to them and everybody else who expects or desires a response from me. And all I did is make sure that anybody who I had an agreement with, I made sure I got back to them. I'm an integrity. That's what I have to do to be an integrity with my own commitments. Everybody else expecting, expecting and desiring that's in a different folder. If I don't get back to them, it's okay. You know, it, they might not like it, but am I going to be living my life based on what other people like or dislike about what I do and don't do? I'm, if I do that, I'm in a trap. I'm living my whole life as a slave to other people's expectations and desires. And that's a horrible way to live. And I, you know, I make an effort to, to not live that way in every aspect. And I saw, when I saw that I was doing it in email, I made that single shift and it changed my whole experience of email. I used to feel under email and I'm always on top of it. It's very easy to be on top of it because you don't have that many people you have agreements with that you have to respond to their emails. And so it is what it is. And if you're in a, in a work environment, in a company where you have um, implied agreements but not clear ones, I would challenge you to go out and create agreements with your, with your team, your coworkers, your, your, your own managers. On, on what kind of agreements you would have around responding to emails, when you will, on what they're going to be about, what you have to put in it, and how quickly you're going to respond, these kinds of things. You know, don't let some impl implied agreement run your life. Get really clear, because there's a big blurring area between that agreement and the expectations and desires that you're currently holding over your head. Free yourself from email. Love. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the button, and also share with your friends, share the love, tweet it, Facebook it, Google Plus it, LinkedIn it, whatever you do, get it out there. And of course, if you really want to engage in this idea, down below in the comments, the discussion, the dialogue is where the best insights come. Challenge me, ask me questions, I will get back to you. Your ideas, your comments help me to create more videos. Finally, if you're interested in learning at all about what I do, my personal coaching for leaders, artists, musicians, sole proprietors, anybody who's a creative force in the world and creating their own things, check out my website. Also, if you're a coach and you want to learn more about my apprenticeship or learn more about how I create coaching clients, check out my website, link down below. Much love.